Hi and welcome to another Witch Doctors How To video. Today we're going to show you how to replace your brake pedal. Now this job is a little bit more difficult. Not that it's all that hard, it's just you have to get your fingers in a lot of tight spots and it's a little tricky at times. What we're going to replace it with is we're going to replace it with one of our revolver series pedals. So the first thing we're going to do is if you look down underneath here there's a bolt that goes through there's a nut on this side and an allen head bolt on the other side now that's a little tricky to get your wrench in but we're going to loosen that up first so it's a five millimeter allen wrench and what you want to do you want to get your wrench back in here And get it on that get it in that bolt one little trick you want to do is you want to spin your wrench down so it hits down on your exhaust pipe that way when you go to loosen the nut the wrench is already against something you might put a rag in there to help you use a 15 millimeter wrench here and you're gonna break that nut loose Now I'm sure there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but I found this to be kind of the easiest and the fastest. Now, you're probably not going to be able to get the bolt pushed through to the other side. So the next thing you do is right here. This bolt is what adjusts your pedals front to back, so I know most of you probably know that, but you can adjust your whole pedal assembly forward or backwards by putting this bolt in a different hole. So you want to take that bolt out. Again, that's a 5 millimeter Allen. Take that bolt out because that's going to let you slide your pedal assembly forwards and back. So if you were wanting to have your pedal up forward, you'd push your whole unit forward and you'd put the bolt back in that hole. If you wanted to have your pedal back farther, do the same thing and put your bolt in that hole. So what this does is it gets this loose now so that we can work on taking this bolt out. So just jiggle that pedal around a little bit kind of work that bolt out and you'll find there's a spot where it'll come right out you don't have to worry about the spring that's back here I'll try to show you that there's a spring right here you don't have to worry about that we'll get that off but the bolt we're trying to get out is this bolt right here jiggle that around and that bolt will come right out. You can wobble that pedal and your spring just falls right off. So you don't have to have any special tools for that. A spring will come right off if you do it that way. So everything's loose now. So now what your problem is, or what the hard part is, the trickier part, is this adjuster here. What this adjuster allows you to do is you back this jam nut off, which is a 12 millimeter nut, You back that off, you can loosen it up, and what that does is if your pedal's mounted there and everything was solid, what it does is it lets your pedal go up higher if you want to put your shoe in a different spot or maybe you like it higher, you want this down lower, that's what this adjustment does. So you just back that nut off and then this right here, this hex for a wrench, you just turn that and when you turn that, That'll screw your pedal up and down. And when you're all done, you just lock it together. So what we're going to do, we need to get that off. So what we're going to do, we loosen that jam nut up. Sometimes this little rubber gasket here gets in the way. You can kind of push it back. Don't tear it, but you can kind of push it back. You want to take that hex right there, and you just want to spin it. You want to unscrew it. There's a nut that's inside here is a nut. And that nut, you can't get a wrench on right here. You can't get a wrench on that. So what you want to do is you want to spin that. You want to just keep spinning this, just like you're unscrewing a bolt, and it'll come right out. There you go. Now watch the nut just fell out of that bracket. 
So take this and just kind of jiggle it out, pull that out. Now your pedal's completely loose in there. There's kind of a slip fit down in the back. You have to kind of work it through. And it'll come right out. Now, what we're going to need to do, we need to take this little bracket off and put that on our new pedal. And there's also bushings in here. Now, on a lot of the cross countries and crossroads, and even some of the visions, when the pedal's in there, it wobbles around and there's a lot of slop, especially on the shifter side. That's a really big problem with these bikes. Witch Doctors offers a bushing kit, a brass bushing kit, that replaces these and that takes up 99% of the slop so you get a much more solid feel when you're doing it. So on the back of this, if you flip this over, there's something called an E-clip right here. It's just a little clip. Take a regular cheap screwdriver, just a little tiny baby screwdriver, and you'll see little notches in there. If you just put it in there and kind of twist it, and just be careful because sometimes those things can shoot across the garage. You don't want to lose it. Just take that little clip right there Take that off. Now there's a pin in there. Just push the pin out. It falls right out. So, very easy. Set that stuff aside. Now, the other little bit of a trick thing is these bushings in here. Again, sometimes they come right out. Sometimes you gotta pound them out. You wanna try to be careful not to damage them if you're gonna reuse them. And I just take my little screwdriver and just push and kind of do it even. Push a little at the top and a little at the bottom. The bushings will come right out. Flip it over and make sure you don't push like this because you will stab yourself in the hand. Don't ask how I know that. Right there, just push and you can see it came right out. So you're done with this pedal. So what you do? Take the Witch Doctor pedal, you can reuse the bushings. They just go right in. And make sure you press them in pretty good because if you don't, it won't fit down in the bracket. So you can get a pair of pliers, you can get whatever, squeeze it with your fingers, whatever you need to do. I'll tap it in. Okay, the bushings are in. Now, you want to take your little bracket that you had earlier, put it on there, and if you forget, the bolt goes through the bracket, the clips on the back side. So just put that in, like that. And when you flip it over, hold it because the pin's going to fall out. Take your little clip and just slides on, snaps on. Sometimes you can do it with your finger. Sometimes you got to use a screwdriver, but it just you just kind of push it back on. There's a slot there that it catches into. There you go. And just look at it real close and make sure that it's in that make sure it's in that little slot there and that it's not going to come loose. So that's basically switching everything over. Now the fun part. You have to take the little nut that was in this bracket and you have to put it in there. And it does go in there. It just barely fits. But it goes in there. Now, you have to hold that nut. Don't drop it. And this is where you're going to start swearing. But that nut, you got to hold it on there. You want to take the pedal, slide it back down in where it goes. And again, if your bushings aren't all the way in, it's not going to fit in there. So you just got to kind of hold that nut. You can take that screwdriver sometimes if that nut turns, like it did here. It's really tricky to get your fingers in there. Get that in there, and then you want to kind of line this up. Put that through there. Hold the nut, just like you're putting a nut on the bolt. And then you just want to start to tighten up the adjuster that we turned earlier. This part here in the master cylinder. You want to just start trying to turn that. And sometimes it's hard to get lined up. And again, this, this bushing, this rubber, 
if that rubber's in the way, it makes that hard to turn. So I kind of pull that rubber back, just kind of a little trick. If you tear it, it's not the end of the world, but try not to. This is the hardest part of this whole deal right here. Because that nut constantly wants to spin and fall out of that bracket and there's no real way to hold it. There's a lot of tricks out there but nothing really works other than just a little patience. So there, you can see that nut's caught on there now. That's what we're trying to do is get that nut back on there. So now that it's caught on there, we can start putting the rest of it together. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put your shoulder bolt back in. Now in case you forgot, it goes back from this side this way. It doesn't go this way. So again, you gotta just kinda slide this around Reach in there and find that spot where that bolt went through. Jiggle your pedal around. There you go. You're going to take and put your nut on. Got to show you down in there. Put your nut on. Just finger tight. You don't have to do it all tight. Just put it finger tight. The next step is the spring. The spring's real easy, it doesn't matter. It can go either way, it's the same. Try to show you this. We're just gonna hook the spring. I hook it down on the bottom first, on the mount peg. Try to do this one hand and just lift it, just pull it up, it's not real hard. Just pull it up until it snaps on your pedal. And you're all good there. So, we're almost done. So the next thing you do is take your bolt that you had for underneath and you just got to slide that back and forth until it hits the hole. Put the bolt back in. You want to snug it up, not too tight, don't break the bolt. Put your wrench back in here. And this again is kind of tricky because you can't really see where the bolt is. Got to just kind of feel around for it. Take your wrench. Now your wrench is, your Allen wrench here is going to spin the other way. So let it spin, don't try to hold it. Let it spin and it will rest against the exhaust. Helps you hold it. Tighten up that bottom nut. And again, don't over tighten it. A lot of guys over tighten stuff and they screw stuff up worse than what they started with. But if you let that wrench just rest against the exhaust pipe, it works like another hand for you don't have to hold I mean I'm barely I have one finger on it just kind of keeping it in the end of the bolt head there when it gets tight stop get your wrench out of there and you can see everything's pretty tight so now it's back just to that final adjustment a lot of times when you change the toe peg here when you change the peg it's a different diameter so you may want this up or down according to you know what your comfort level is and again you would just do that by turning this. Get it where you want it. Once it's where you want it, you take this jam nut, tighten it up against the bracket. Again, it's a 12 millimeter wrench.
tighten it up. You want to make sure you tighten that. Your bolt there is tight, your spring's on, your clip's on here. And you're all set, ready to ride. Thanks for watching with Jocker's How To.